We're using the TRX, focusing on our legs. That's right. So lower body movements, starting from a beginner and then advancing that, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is create slack to begin the movement. We're going to step back, okay? So our planted leg is lined up with our anchor point. We're going to drop that knee to the floor. The back heel is up toward the ceiling. And we're going to drive that knee up, creating slack again. So there's your balance here. So step back and drive that knee up, okay? So we can progress this movement by adding a more of a balance aspect in there. So instead of the back foot actually touching the floor, the back knee hovers the floor, creating a 90 degree angle here at the knee and at the hip as well. And then we drive it up. The trick here is to use only as much as you need. We don't wanna rely on the TRX, we only use it as we need it. And that's the idea, right? So we step back and then you lose the, slap, the tension at the top so that you're really using your own body. Yeah, I can feel when I need to actually put a lot of pressure That's down. That's right. So a beginner will obviously need to use it more. A more advanced person will use it less. So we're gonna progress that lunge into a TRX lunge. We're gonna start on the floor, making sure we're all lined up here because that front knee, we wanna avoid going over the toe. And what you want to do is line your foot up with the anchor point. You're going to come up nice and tall. We're going to drop that knee straight down and drive it up. Gotcha. So there's our balance again. We can progress this by adding a hop in there. That's awesome. Adding that so hop. Right from that beginner. Right from that beginner. Same movement, same lunge, different progressions with that.